Hey what's going on guys, my name is Quinn and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impression of this guy. Let's just take my knives out and do an unboxing of this thing. So I bought the Byway Spark Interstellar Pirates TW1028. Now this is a knockoff of the Studio Series 56 Shockwave and a mold that is surprisingly pretty good actually because in the movie Shockwave doesn't even transform, it doesn't have an alt mode. So the, the designers on Hasbro part, of course, because they were the ones who designed this thing, uh, have a lot of creative freedom on designing the robot mode to make it look as screen accurate as possible, while also making it transformable. And I am really excited for this one because I have been delaying on getting this guy because I have other things to do to get. But finally, here we are. Here we are. This is the TW1028. I finally bought it. So gonna be pretty interesting TW1028 of course and surprisingly not say a B or A or something like that because usually they ha usually they have a checkbox with A on B because from what I know is by the way it's still sealed by the way because from what I know is that that they have released a second revision of this with a more studio series accurate color scheme now this one I believe is a what the hell is their own first take because it has a lot more purple color than the ones in studio series which some people have issue with I don't because I think it looks nice with the purple color skin it really reminds me of oh my god look at that because it really reminds me of the uh, chocolate called in G1 and by the way they used an original CG render from the, from the movie as you can see here we go Spark and Shell Parrot this is how it looks at the front that is looks on the side the back is right, this looks, still looks the same also on the side also as well alright it is still sealed Let's open that up. And take it out. Let's see. And let me see. And oh my god! And we do have a destruction. And this is the one they took from Shape Shifting Meth. Dominant appearance. Okay. This, they took this, I think, from Studio Series. Yeah. They took this from the Studio Series uh, instruction. Alright. Pretty interesting to see. They keep. They have been doing this with Studio Series stuff for quite some time now. And yeah. Cool. That it looks like and oh my god we have another accessory which is this i think this is a hose yeah pretty good quality and we have this spike which is based on dark of the moon i think yeah from the video game absolutely nicely colored I'm gonna be doing a review of this guy pretty soon but we're gonna do an unboxing of first impression first and what is that oh it's a transformation piece it is is it broken or and by the way Plastic is so nice, but I don't, I don't see. Oh, there it is. I see there's a peg over there, which I think I can plug this guy in. Hopefully, that's not broken. And oh my god. Oh, okay. One thing that I jumps out to me is that the head is loose. This is a common copy with this byway release. Joints are tight. Really good. Oh, man. Okay, this is pretty cool. And the fingers, also, as well, they are individually articulated, which I love, by the way. Pretty sick. For that part, and that part. Okay. Being a retool of Studio Series 13 slash 31. This is pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty good. All right. In terms of quality, plastic, pretty good. Pretty good. Which is something that I expected from Byway with their recent releases. Oh my God, this guy looks epic. Looks really good from the back, from the front, from all sides. Yeah, definitely gonna get reviewed. I think in a couple of days, depending if I have more free time or not, because I am back in college and I have to do some exam and learning and stuff. So I'll keep make sure you guys keep an eye update on this guy. But that's it gonna be my unboxing and first impression. This is surprisingly pretty good. And I will see you guys in when I do review of this guy sometime in the future.